Huperzin A is a cognitive enhancer used in traditional Chinese medicine that could dramatically change your brain performance. Multiple studies show that supplementing Huperzin A can improve memory and slow down cognitive decline, but it can be very risky if you take it daily. I've been taking Huperzin A for about a month, and I didn't expect that to happen. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. If nootropics, biohacking and optimizing brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Huperzin A, Huperzin is a compound used in traditional Chinese medicine for cognition and neuroprotection. But besides its traditional use, many studies show many positive benefits of this compound. However, Huperzin A has one big problem. Now, before I reveal this problem to you, let's check out what happened during my 30-day test period. Now, for this test, I used Huperzin A from Nootropics Depot, which is one of my favorite go-to stores for buying Nootropics. But if you wanna try Huperzin A, you can buy it from other brands. Just find one that is really high quality and you obviously trust it. Now, this particular supplement has 200 micrograms of Huperzin A inside, which is kind of a, on the higher end. If you compare it to Qualia Mind, which is one of my favorite nootropic stacks, it has about 50 micrograms of Huperzin A, and this is more on the lower end. If you're gonna supplement Huperzin A for a longer period, of course, stick to the lower end, and if you just plan to take it now and then, this is a good dosage. So, during my test period, I took one capsule of Huperzin A per day. I usually took it in the morning after breakfast, but you can also take it on an empty stomach if that's what you prefer. So, here is what happened during the first day. So, here's the thing. It's been about an hour since I took one capsule of Huperzin A, and honestly, I don't feel much. Actually, I don't feel anything in particular. I'm not more focused, I'm not in a better mood, I'm not more energized, not much is going on. Um, I don't even feel the placebo effect, which, well, I hoped it's gonna happen, and it didn't. So this is kind of a weird, especially if you know that the Huperzin peak is about 60 to 70 minutes after you take it. So you should definitely feel something, if you are going to feel something, in this period. So in about one hour, one hour and a half after you take the capsules. But in my case, nope, not much is going on. Days went by and every day was pretty much the same. I took the capsules and I waited for the effects, which never showed up. What a shame. Now for the first week, I took one capsule every single day but this was a terrible idea. Now, before I tell you why, let's check out what happened during the rest of the month. I continued taking the capsules without noticing any effects. One day, I even took two capsules and even that didn't have any positive effects on me. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, it's not you. You know, this is all about me. It's all my fault. So, what's the real deal with Huperzin A? Well, the reality is that Huperzin A is a very potent nootropic that can improve your cognition and memory but it doesn't really have any short-term effects. It's not gonna make you more focused, it probably won't uh, make you more energized, and it probably won't affect your mood. But what it can really do is that it can improve your memory, and it does that by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase. Acetylcholinesterase is an enzyme that degrades our learning neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is important for memory and learning. So the more Huperzin you take, the better your memory should be. Or at least that's what they say. But the challenge is you can't really notice an improved memory in only a month, right? Well, it's really hard if you don't test it. So I designed a super advanced double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial to see if my memory actually improves. Now for the test, I used the famous dual and back memory game, which is in my opinion one of the best games to test and even improve your memory. Multiple studies show that playing dual and back game for a couple of weeks can dramatically improve your memory, but I often use this game just to test if certain nootropics or certain brain hacks or biohacks actually improve my memory. So I played the game a couple of times during the month and used advanced algorithms to calculate if and how much my memory actually improved. So during my initial test, I was playing dual six back and my score was 62%. And during my last test, I still played dual six back and my score was 84%. And that's quite a big improvement, isn't it? Well, not so fast. It seems that my memory improved for 22 percentage points, which is a 35% improvement. But is this only because I was taking Huperzin A? Or was there something else that could impact my memory performance? 
Well, the reality is that studies are very clear on the benefits of Huperzin A, and many show that Huperzin can actually improve our memory and also help with learning. But at the same time, if you constantly play games like dual and bad game, you also improve your scores just because you're getting better and you're also training your brains. So I cannot say that the improvement happened just because I was taking Hooper's in A, but I'm convinced that Hooper's in A had at least a small effect on my memory. And honestly, I didn't expect that to happen. Now, how about the other benefits of Hooper's in A, like neurogenesis and neuroprotection? Well, if you want to learn more about them, watch my video about Hooper's in A here, in which you'll learn all about other benefits of this amazing compound. So in the beginning of this video, I mentioned one big problem with Hooper's in A and that is it needs to be cycled. It has a pretty long half-life, which is about 10 to 14 hours, which means it stays in your body for about 20 to 28 hours. And this basically means it adds up in the system if you take it daily, which is not a good thing, because daily use can cause nausea, it can cause diarrhea, stomach pain, and other side effects. And I don't want you to experience those side effects. And in one case, it even caused manic symptoms. So what exactly happened after daily use of Huperzin A for a week? Well, luckily, I didn't have any issues with stomach pain or diarrhea, but I experienced some nausea. And because of that and my know-how about Huperzin, I decided to cycle it for the next three weeks. So I took it every second day and during the last week, I only took it twice because I really wanted to be on the safe side and not experience any side effects. Luckily, after I started cycling Huperzin, the nausea went away and I didn't experience any kind of other side effects. Now, based on the studies and my personal experience, Huperzin A seems to be very safe, especially if you don't combine it with any cholinergic or anticholinergic drugs. If you do take any kind of drugs, do consult your doctor before that. And to avoid any side effects, definitely cycle Huperzin. So what's my final verdict on Huperzin A? Well, based on the studies and my personal experience, Huperzin A seems to be a very potent nootropic. And I definitely recommend taking it if you're not taking any kind of cholinergic or anticholinergic drugs. And of course, if you're gonna regularly cycle it. It can help with neurogenesis, it can offer neuroprotection, and it can help with learning and help you improve your memory. And that's why I like Huperzin A. Now, if you want to test it yourself, there are links below to my favorite supplements with Huperzin A. And since you're interested in nootropics, you should definitely watch my next video in which I share my favorite nootropic supplements. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon again.